Hey, Spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as uh, Jean of Portugal. We're using the maritime mods here, so things are looking pretty good good across the board. Uh, if you do want to check out the mods that I'm using in this gameplay, do remember to check the description for the links to the mod packs. And I think generally our goal is to just keep on keeping on. We want to meet all the people. It's an honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. Um, yeah, we want to keep on keeping on. We want to convert our cities. I think it's a good idea to get those conversions in. It is heading towards a new era in six turns, and we're also getting a little bit of exploration done. Our pirate ship has acquired many, 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 many kills and experience. And don't forget, every time he gets a kill, we do get the gold from that kill because he's got the Londonize Cutlery, which is really nice, and Blackbeard's Short Fuse, which gives him a chance to defeat enemy naval units, kind of like a privateer. Uh, the the Sea Dog, the British, the English privateer. All right, there's bronze working. We can chop rainforest. We have access to iron, spearmen, all that jazz. Did we land? No. We did not. Oh, we got a new trade route, Barbarian's Approach, and Oracle. So if we kill, we may have a chance to secure a future. Right. One more level up on this guy, and he'll be level three, which would be really nice. I think I will quickly grab Irrigation and Archery. My boat is better than your boat, so I will kill you over there. Now, I don't want any of these builders to actually finish, not at least, not until we have feudalism. That's the key thing. I will sell you horses, but not yet. I do want peace with you. I managed to steal a settler from Congo, which is honestly a huge win because it's minus one city for him and plus one city for me, which is just fantastic. Um, while these cities are not generating much in the way of revenue yet, um, they will. Looks like we've got a little bit of an approach from some bad dudes down here. So we will need more boats. We will get that sorted. It'll just take us a little bit of time. Now, theology is finished. Let's go for defensive tactics so we can get started on the mausoleum. I don't understand what's gone wrong with the city-state screen. Possibly the fact that I declared war is an issue. There's a promotion on Dragon's Beard. Excellent. We, we did just finish the ability to purchase temples, or rather build temples. So we're gonna purchase this temple. This will give us four faith per turn and we can evangelize our religion potentially doing an inquisition. Let's quickly convert Porto. I don't like that I'm losing my religion in here. Hopefully we can keep that going. And we should in theory, hmm, that gate wonder is not showing up. Did somebody build that? Huh, maybe somebody built it. Yeah, I was hoping I could get it, but if it's gone, it's gone. That's life. All right, there's irrigation. We have access to plantations. You're gonna get promoted with, ooh, 50% gold when plundering traders at sea. We could get the Krakanans, which is plus one range, plus five combat strength. I do like the Krakanans as an option. That'll let us get more kills more quickly. And don't forget, every time we level up the Dragon's Dread, we do actually get an extra trade route. Now, we also want to think about the Brigand Court, because if we upgrade the Brigand Court, we will unlock the Outlaw Cove, which is a powerful replacement for the Lighthouse. I don't know what that does, but it could be fun to find out. Gold in the city. I think we do want to sell some horses here. I think we'll sell to Congo, and then we'll hold onto the horses. We'll hold our horses, as they say. Grab a little bit of gold for open borders. I'm curious to see, does anyone want to sell Diplo Favor for reasonable prices? Doesn't look like it. I could sell 20 at a time. Perfect. So we've got great cash flow coming in. I'm going to buy this tile and the squid tile. That's a great squid tile. What's on the, why is squid so good? I don't understand. I guess it's got a reef, which is sick. All right, Porto is converted. This view has been converted. We're waiting until we can get an apostle to eva- Well, we want to do an inquisition next era. Let's place the fishing boat in here. That's going to be a four food such and such uh, tile right there. Really nice. I don't actually want to finish the builder, but I do want to continue to build the builder. Let's kill this boat. Hopefully we steal it. We did steal the galley, which is excellent. That allows us to expand our navy without actually expanding our navy. We have a ton of trade routes available. Many of them are inactive. Uh, we were trading with Catel Hoyuk, so we will continue that trade. Let's have a look at what our best available routes for gold are. Right, I'm going to go ahead and buy another trader in Lisbon. We're going to be pumping out a lot of traders here soon. Now, how do I, what about my routes? I want to do routes with Portugal with the best production. So it looks like I could get a bunch of routes to Lisbon to help my cities out if I wanted to do internal stuff. Would that growth in production be better than external trade routes? I do think the internal trade routes are pretty damn good to help these cities get up and running. So that is the direction I'm going to go with that. We'll shoot you there. We'll bring you home to get healed up. And we can maybe sneak in here and pillage this tile, get a bit of gold out of it. I'm going to bring you back home to get healed 
up. Now, you did a great job killing that barb camp down, or barb, uh, kill the galley down there, getting good experience and just generally keeping the map, the seas relatively safe for me. Okay, Temple of Artemis is finished. We have archery. We can make a dedication now. We do have a two really good choices here. We could go for monumentality if we want to purchase settlers and builders with faith, or we could go free inquiry and get an insane amount of bonus science. I kind of like the idea of the free inquiry. I think it's better. I think I think it's especially better because we can get to work on those soon. Something we definitely want is military training um, for the veterancy card. So I'm going to go defensive tactics into military training. That's going to be the route that we go. It would be nice to get mathematics. It'd be nice to get a government plaza in the capital too at some point. And also this theater square down, but we need to get 13 population. The Colossus is three turns from finishing and we need the Mahabodhi temple. I'm going to delete this because I don't know if I don't know if I can even build these, but we'll see. Yeah, but we, we need that theater square. We need that government plaza though, big time. I hate that I don't have anywhere good to put it. I really hate that. Let's do, be nice to get apprenticeship. It would be really nice to get access to the cog and the gallius as well, if we could get the buttresses. That'll happen actually when we build a wonder soon. So I think perhaps going for mathematics here is the play. After this, we get the theater square up. So I think we go Colossus into theater square and then we see where we stand because we want to boost math math mathematics. So I will research, um, I'll spend a little bit of time well, I'm going to build a quarry. I'll go for horseback riding because it's a quick tech. We want gold, so I'll trade with Kalenya. Perfect. In here, we're going to spend our gold to improve this tile. Boom. And then this trade route, well, well, we could go for 20 gold. Let me think about that. Is gold worth more than the production and food of trading with the capital? The other nice thing is this will actually reinforce my religion and these trade routes will get better. It does only take 24 turns for this to reset. I think trading with my capital is good here. Plus it reinforces my religion. It gives food and production to this city. It'll allow me to develop the city more quickly. I'm not gonna, f I'm gonna get this built into one turn and then I won't finish it. Honestly, I don't even need to do that. What I do want above all else is I'm working three good tiles. So I don't really need housing right now. So I'm gonna go for a quick monument to expand the borders of this city. Because if I were working more tiles, what would I work? Like this two food, two production tile? I mean, I guess that is pretty good. But do I need to work that? I don't think so. It would be like a 25% boost to the city's production. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to get the granary and then I'll probably improve the stone. And then, yeah, yep, 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 yep. So I think the granary is the play because the granary will give me the room to grow two more pops easily. And then I can work the stone and this hill and get another three production in here, which is a pretty significant boost. It'll allow me to get my infrastructure online faster. Right, you don't have enough movement points to do this, but you can blast the city for a little bit of experience. And then the city should shoot you back and you should get um, some experience from being shot as well. Actually, I want to see how much experience you get from being shot. You get two experience from being shot, which is pretty good. I would like 100% production towards city city center buildings. This would actually be great for me here. And military units being cheaper with production would be fantastic because I could pump out a whole bunch of galleys and cogs and all sorts of stuff. So these are cheaper with gold, which is honestly suits me. 100% um, production towards city center buildings. Boom, there's 131 gold. So if units are cheaper with gold, honestly, it could be something to consider expanding or killing a city state here. I mean, if I were to kill and take Sanaa, there is something to be said there. Like if we take a look at this, the city of Sanaa has access to one, two luxuries that I don't already have access to. We could settle a sort of interesting city center on this drop a harbor plus a fat waterfront, plus a decent campus, plus something else. So this is starting to look like it has potential here. Yeah, also there's some nice islands over here that we could settle. Definitely something we want to consider in the next phase of development of our empire. But I think we will maybe buy a unit here. Yeah, I'll quickly buy a galley and I would like to buy a quadrireme as well because they're quite cheap. Saving up for, oh, Somebody's got cogs out. America has cogs already. We did get the Colossus, which is another plus one trade route, which is fantastic. Um, I could trade with Mabamba. It's not my goal. I'm going to put this one into this U and I'm going to start trading. I'm going to get my trade routes down, I think. My internals, that is, specifically. Specifically, I'm going to get my internals down. Because if you think about it, an, an internal trade route for me right now is basically like having a... Uh, 
play a, a grassland hill with forest in the city, right? It's a plus one food, plus one production. It's like having an extra population there, working away, helping out. And also it spreads my religion just slightly, which is helpful. Evora will get the next trader. You'll park there because you can get, you can tank this damage pretty well if you park there. Let's get the quarry online. That's a boost for masonry as well as giving this city another productive tile to work. I'm gonna pull you back a tile to heal. You were punking the swordsman on the water, which is excellent, yet more experience that we love to see. There may be another city over here. I'm thinking, what if we did a waterfront there? What if we did the harbor there and the city there? That's a plus four. Waterfront district, city center, adjacent district. That's great. This is fabulous. Genuinely insane levels of production. We could do a campus there and a water park right there. And that be this becomes like a really, really strong city. Captures a lot of value in the local area. Not much of the way of fishing, but I mean, still, this captures a lot of value. Sanaa is great. There is some overlap between these, but I'm okay with overlaps. So we've got one, two more cities that we can definitely park uh, when the time comes. I definitely want to convert Visu, reinforce my religion. My religion is under attack. Okay, the city of Choir has been settled over here, which honestly is not a big deal. I mean, this horse is there. Yeah, so this is why I didn't attack, is because I, I suspected that I might get counterattacked uh, by extra galleys. We will need a ship to assist. I'm going to purchase myself a quadrireme to send over there. Uh, we can promote the brigand court, and I will. Boom. So now we have access to the outlaw cove. I'm curious as to what the outlaw cove is. It's kind of a different lighthouse. So what do you what do you actually do? So the Outlaw Cove is unique to the Brigand Court. It gives us 25% combat experience on all naval units trained in the city, plus one food and all coastal tasks in the city. How does that differ from the lighthouse? So the lighthouse doesn't actually give you food on the coastal tasks, okay. And plus two gold per era since built or last repaired, plus two housing. It gives you an amenity. It gives you great explorer, great merchant and admiral points. Whereas this is just admiral and explorer points. So the merchant points getting added in there is really, really clutch. The amenity also getting added in there is really clutch instead of housing. And you get the plus two housing if it's adjacent to coast, which I think is it. So I would say overall, it's it's ever so slightly better, although in some ways, slightly worse, but still very, very cool. The granary has been completed in Porto. It's giving us the ability to grow to five population and then work five tiles. So we'll quickly grab that monument to make the city contribute to the culture of my empire. And then we'll work on the harbor for the gold. I do think the city should build a campus because that is what my unique building does, right? Building unique to Portugal, plus 25% production towards naval units, plus one science for every two coast or lake tiles in the city, and you get a great admiral and a great scientist point per turn. So there's something to be said for that. You're five turns away from a builder. I will cancel that soon. We still need to inject some gold down here to the south. Uh, we're selling off 20 Diplo favor as well as 10 horses. Excellent, trying to keep the money flowing. I do have another builder charge here. I don't know if there's anything I want to improve. In theory, I could get that cotton online. It would give me more happiness, which probably isn't a bad thing, which means I could probably very quickly and just for a moment squeeze in the land surveyor's card. And that should make it quite a bit cheaper to buy out to that. Horseback riding, horsemen. Keep shooting this city because it's, you know, it's, it's experience. He's almost leveled. It's great. Um, I may take the city acquire. Where would I have parked this city? Honestly, I would have parked it, I think, one tile up this way. Because one tile up this way, I would have put this here. I would have put that there. The harbor there, and then maybe the waterfront here. Although maybe I would put the harbor on this side, and then the waterfront on this side. And that, that feels very, very nice. It feels like a nice city. Mm -hmm. We're going to go for buttress because we do want cogs. Um, we'll go for mathematics because we should finish the theater square in two turns, which will boost mathematics because that'll be my third unique type of district that I have built. Um, because the goal is to build three different specialty districts. Let's go in here with our gold. We'll buy the cotton and then we'll improve the cotton. Getting us another luxury, bring us up to four ecstatic cities, which means we're getting a 20% yield boost across our empire, at least in those cities, at the very least. That might not necessarily cover the entire empire, but should be close to. I don't actually know if I can build fisheries out here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete those tiles. All right, Dragon's Dread should level up from this attack. Yeah, he'll get counterattacked and level because he has 148 XP or whatever. Uh, you're going to step out and get that kill. Excellent, which sets us up for a kill on this galley. No matter who he attacks, he should be dead. Joint War Teddy Roosevelt. I don't really want that. Teddy has cogs nearby, which I don't like. I also don't like that he's coming to convert my cities. Makes me slightly uncomfortable. Mathematics has advanced considerably, as we said, which means the theater square is finished, which means it's time for the mausoleum. I do want the Mahabodhi. How bad? Which would I prefer? I think, honestly, the Mahabodhi lets me fully evangelize. 
And if I can buy an apostle in two turns, that means I can evangelize and upgrade my religion in a single turn or in a single fell swoop. So I think I will go for the Mahabodhi first. I do really want the mausoleum, but I would be willing to live without it. That's the thing. We got the water mill in Visu. I want to be able to work more tiles. There's good tiles in here. So I think getting the granary first is worth it. Although this city already has five housing, so it might be a little bit excessive. Let's go for the monument to expand the borders of the city. I super need a lot more builders. I super need a lot more stuff in general. Evora does not yet have its trader. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the trader in here to send to the capital now. We're up to seven traders. We want to keep that, that trade number expanding. You're going to heal up here for a moment. 50% gold and plundering plus two movement, honestly. Really good. I'll step you out of range of the city and I'll get you plus two movement. Because a seven a seven movement unit is insane. I do need to start thinking about um, when I'm going to get to shipyards. Shipyards are really good. We've also got the kick kink kanju. Oh, wow. That's a kick-ass wonder. I don't know if the wonder mods actually worked properly, but we will see. America hates me, which is fine because I have the gold to buy my way out of a war. I do want to trade with Lisbon. That's three food, th two production, and we're going through a trading post in Kabul along the way. So that's nice. That's going to help Evora grow. Would you pop back to heal? Great library and Minakshi temple has been built. A fire was started over here. Nothing to do with me. We got more trade routes than before. Um, I'm a little bit worried about this cogage. It is definitely not coggers. I want to cancel that builder because I don't want to finish it. This city is housing locked. So I'll get the granary. I need to get the feudalism ASAP. It's holding me back that I don't have it yet. I definitely want to get this kill because that will promote you as well. You're healing up, no problem. And my pirate ship can step in and finish this city. Mathematics is done. We have access to the diplomatic quarter and plus one movement for all naval units is very handy. We would like to get out land surveyors. We don't care about discipline anymore. We want veterancy to build up our encampments, arsenals and harbors. Oh. This doesn't apply to harbors anymore. Well then, okay, that changes things. I guess I'll go for gold then. Natural harbors is 100% a, a, a pick card. I might plug in urban planning here, although core V might be better because I am building a wonder in the capital. I definitely need more improved tiles out here. I'm gonna go for feudalism now because I want serfdom. And once I have serfdom, I can get all the builders I need and that will change things. I'm gonna go ahead and try to save and quickly reload because the envoy thing has kind of gone a little crazy on me. All right. Uh, hopefully this fixed the... It did not. Mm. Let me quickly restart the game. Um, okay, that's kind of frustrating that the city-state screen is all bugged up. I'm going to assume it's because I'm at war? It was working earlier, and the only thing I can think of that changed was that I declared war on someone. Uh, okay, so there, there, you might have to accept some bugs with this, which honestly, this just means I need to kill city-states. That's all that that means. I'm gonna kill the city-states. You prevent me from interacting with you, you die. That's how that works. Oh, not a fan of this development. Um, the city of Sanaa is being pounded. Go ahead and try to get this galley leveled up from hitting the city too. If I quickly buy a galley in here to help out, I'll buy another, I need, I need to just buy a round of galleys, honestly because they can be upgraded into cogs relatively cheaply, which is a pretty strong medieval era, naval melee unit, right? Like a, a galley is uh, 30, the cog is 38. We've also got the gallius. Don't love the Protestantism that's flowing through my nation right now. I'm gonna buy myself an apostle and hold off on the Inquisition for a turn. I think one of my trade routes got pillaged. It was the one from Braga to the capital, which angers me. I am an angry boy. Let's see if we can't snag this kill. You finished a monument in here. Let's work on a builder. We can't work on the harbor. I want to get the industrial zone in here actually pretty quick because it'll help with the production of the rest of my cities. I will go for the quick granary. Things are a little bit chaotic right now. We're going to get things handled. So now we'll fall next turn. Now this will upset the rest of the players, but I'm okay with that. Okay, you need to fall back because you're taking a little bit too much damage. You're in a defensive terrain. Well, you're also in um, choke point, which is good. So now we'll fall. Captured a builder. We could raise the city. I'm going to keep it. No reason to raise it. Let's repair all the buildings. And we'll plan the city once the repairs are done. Let's try to get this kill. Looks like another trader might have been killed. Buy some traders in Lisbon to send to other players. I'm not ready yet for the evangelization. Didn't mean to finish the builder in Avora. Not the end of the world. Three build charges will be put to good use. 
Let's get this borders expanded and the monument building. Long-term payoff on those buildings is huge. Gold-wise, these are the best trade routes that I have. It would be useful to have a trader here helping develop this city. I'll launch an Inquisition in another couple of turns. I, just, I don't want to launch it too soon in case the city gets converted and I need that guy to save the city, right? Just want to play it safe. Pirate ship has done some good exploring. We can do... It doesn't make a difference where exactly I position things here. But we could do a fun combo, right? We could do city center here. We can do harbor here, waterfront here, and then like a campus here. This is just a, this is just a great city. This is just a really, really damn good city. I definitely want to think about getting education for the navigation schools. Um, I also want to think about building the campus in the capital. I'm going to build that after the Mahabodhi temple. I'm going to try to finish that um, so I can start earning points. Science, great scientist points, all that stuff. All right, we've got a nice battle line going here. You approach this location, so that we're starting to surround this. Pirate ship probably should bring to choir to blast this city. Also need to start thinking about settlers. You get in there to get that kill. If both these guys attack you, you have Embalon so that you won't die. This guy's also backing you up. This guy's also potentially aggroing them to come attack him, which will let me flood in with my two galleys to hit them from the back, which is how I prefer to hit it. We're going to drop the seals and improve them. There is a barb camp somewhere down here producing. I think we're safe now to launch the Inquisition, which is plus two error score. How much for Inquisitors? 150. I can buy an Inquisitor next turn, which means my religion is now secure in my empire. Um, I want you to trade with the capital. Lisbon, three food, two production. That's going to help you get up and running. I see no barbs or ways for barbs to get here. So after you're done repairing, you're going to build me some settlers. Build me a settler. After you're done, you're going to build me a settler because I want to keep developing the capital. And maybe Visu will build me a settler. I'll build settlers in my non-capital city. I could also buy settlers. 680 gold. Honestly, that's actually, unironically, not a bad move. But So there's Buttress. There's the life Fang Pagoda. Kill this settler. Nope. Kill this settler. Nope. Kill this settler. And what if I were to just buy him? You know what? I think I'll buy him. All right, we've got luxuries. Let's sell off some horses. You'll buy those. Sell off some Diplo favor. Boom, you'll buy those. You'll buy those too. All right, you got your granary. You got your monument. Now you need to get builders because we're going for the feudalism. You two turns from that, you get your monument. Masonry is done. We'll grab it real quick. I do want apprenticeship for the plus one production to mines. I haven't built three mines, which is shocking. Also, I can't suzerain anyone. Strange. Which means I just need to kill city-states, which is fine. I have naval superiority, and so I'm going to choose violence. A cog spawned. Now that's a whole lot of misfortune. If you step in there and attack, and then you plug the gap, oof. Get in here. Come the cog. I need you to get over here to help out. It's going to be a bad time. Unfortunately, I have to spend some of my money on cogs right now, which is fine. Short term. Um, sucks long term because my settle it means my settlers are slower. Uh, Machu Picchu has been built. Yeah, I'm really curious as to what happens here. All right, I can live with a dead galley. That's fine. Step you back a tile. Promotion versus naval. You head east. You head south. You're in position. Let's denounce him and in five turns we'll attack. Um, we got the monument in here. We need to actually plan this city. So let's have a little think. Where's the best harbor? This is a decent harbor. Do I want a waterfront here? What if I harbored here and then I waterfronted there? What if I waterfronted there? That's the wrong city. Okay, it might be worth it to delete the seals. Do something like this and so nah. Temple of Artemis, are you joking? It's plus two amenities. It does only take 12 turns. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. All right, we have access to masonry now, so we can build walls. Not that we need them, but we can. I'm going to go ahead and purchase myself an Inquisitor to defend my religion. Let's build this plantation for the extra gold and the amenities. Mahabodhi Temple has been built. This will give us plus two diplomatic victory points and two apostles. Those two apostles will be used to evangelize our religion. And um, also, I believe it will help. My troops are really passing by, which is clearly a lie. Does it also give us faith? I don't remember. Yeah, plus four faith is decent. So pretty good. There's the Inquisitors. We can start fighting immediately. This guy is going to evangelize. I know it's suboptimal to like immediately evangelize. I just don't care. So we need to choose a candle belief and a hand belief, which is what I'm going to call them. So we can go for diplomatic favor or extra spreads. I think it's obvious we go for diplomatic favor. And then when it comes to this one, I think scripture or itinerant preachers are equally good. Um, for passive spread. Religious colonization is useful if you're spreading your religion quite a bit. I think itinerant preachers is just better. Now I could take crusader defender, 
both of which are very valuable if I were to go on the offensive here against anyone. I don't know if I care to go on the offensive. It's something I can do, for sure. I'm a big fan of itinerant preachers. I mean, I, uh, Crusade makes you unkillable. I do have the ability to go on the offensive. That's plus four error score for getting our final belief. That was why we did that. It's because the Mahapodi Temple is worth a ton of error score, which is partially why we build it. So let's 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 get our units away from the borders of Mongolia so they don't, don't get too upset. Coggers! My cogs are on the way. The turn is rolling over. We're about to finish a harbor, which is nice, in Porto. Cartography has been boosted. I think that's from finishing two harbors. The harbor is finished in Porto, like we predicted, which means we can now go for the builder. And then a turn from now, we'll be able to plug in the plus two build charges for builders to have set up that thing properly. Um, I do think it's okay for you to get this fishing boat online because it does actually help the city out. It's plus one production. You are trading with Lisbon. That's the goal. I'm going to fa- I'm gonna gold purchase a settler in here. And then I'm going to look at my available gold trade routes. Evora to Kabul. Evora to Kabul. There's 19 gold. I think they're all roughly the same, but I will go for Evora to Kabul. I need to start increasing my gold production again because... The acceleration is important. I'm going to step you back a tile to let him hit you, and then you should promote. Oh, man. Never mind. I want that settler. It's, it's so much gold. If I, if I were to buy a settler right now, it would cost me 800 gold. That's what this settler is worth. And so I think just taking it from him is the right play. That'll be my second settler stolen this game. I definitely have become a much more aggressive player over the years, mainly off the back of people telling me that they want me to be more violent when I play. And also the advantages of being violent are really useful in this game. So we have access to feudalism. We're going to immediately change our government. No longer do we want to be autocracy. We want to be classic or republic. Plenty of benefits from that. We can plug in Corvi, natural harbors, plus urban planning. We're going to take this out because we don't actually need it anymore. We want the builder production card, which is serfdom. So we could drop urban planning. I might keep Corvi. I mean, I am building wonders, so that's fine. You're going to promote with the Embolon promotion to make you better at fighting boats. It's plus seven. It's really nice. And I am going to declare I, I had wanted to make it a formal war, but it's going to be a surprise war. And the reason it's going to be a surprise war is because there is a um, settler here for me to yoink. Um, let's get a kill on that. Settler yoinkage is something I'm always going to be on board with. And then I will probably settle the horses as well eventually. We shall see. Now we want to actually research naval tradition because there's a bunch of really useful stuff in here. Harbor adjacency, navigation. I actually, what are the great explorers? I haven't, I haven't played around with those. Have people taken the great explorers? Let's have a look. Great explorer. Looks like nobody's actually recruited one. Congo is working on it. I'm working on it too. We can get Vasco da Gama. Let me go to Porto. We really want the Outlaw Cove. That does give great explorer coins i was going to call them like they're like they're like they're loot i want more great explorer coins mom monument completed in braga the obvious next phase for development of the city is to finish that builder evora is trading with lisbon so let's look for gold kabul perfect um uh, let's 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 max out our trade routes now because this is we've been like behind on trade for a while i'd love to get this kill but it's a major defeat we get another inquisitor to defend our lands we need to fight back against this missionary um missionary invasion. The cog is in position. The quad is in position. I need to get stuff that can pillage this. When do privateers come online? How do I get the private ship? Medieval fairs, medieval fairs. Oh, there's feudalism. Huh, weird. Are you now covering up medieval fairs? You are. In that case, I want to research medieval fairs to get access to the pirate ship because can only be seen by other naval raiders and it'll allow me to pillage some of these coastlines and get some of these things. So pirate ship, ho, and I'll spend some money on that because they'll be useful. Let's try to seal the gap. I also want to fortify this island, which means maybe an arsenal out here. What's the waterfront like there? So the waterfront does not benefit from that kind of stuff. What does the waterfront benefit from? That's the thing that's kind of confusing me. I don't even know what it does either. Plus one amenity if adjacent to the city center. Oh, that's really good. Um, so city centers, government plazas, harbors, reefs, kelp and district, which means it's honestly, it's really good there. So what if I built my city like this? I mean, this is even just better. This is just better. And if we wanted to take it to even a higher level, we could do some weird stuff like this. But this is better. Okay. So you take out choir before... Oh! Uh, that was a lot of damage. That's okay. You need to kill him. 
pirate ships in a few turns. We got a builder in Porto. Now remember, I already put builder charges into the city, but I could chop this and put a mine down. And I'll switch away from apprenticeship for a couple of turns. I'll go for construction for lumber mills. We could get the outlaw cove, but the thing that we need right now are builders. Builders, builders, builders. Think of all the settlers that are gonna be get, getting built. All the settlers that are gonna be produced. They need resources, they need assistance. Go ahead and get me more gold. Okay, granary down in here. Builders, 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 builders. Um, I think one of the biggest mistakes that players make, and I say this all the time, is they do not make enough builders. You need to make builders. Like, I mean, you need to make builders, dude. Like, so many builders. Okay, my inquisitors are fighting to hold the line. Oh, that's a cog. Can we escape? Maybe. We might have more movement than him. Okay, what's more important, damage the city or the units? Getting kills is worth gold. That's the thing with the pirate ship. Plus two error score for hitting 15 population in the capital. You're gonna retreat. Uh, camp is completed in Lisbon, which feels really nice. We need to finish some of these buildings at some point. Could also purchase the pagoda. Can we nail this guy? Attack into the water. Boom, huge kill. You pop back there and heal. Oh wow, Gallius has cost Niter. I wasn't expecting that. That's an early Niter um, cost. I still need to build some important resources. Most importantly, the um, mausoleum needs to get down here. Looks like there's no a, a appropriate place to put a Lifeng Pagoda, which is fine. I'm, I'm wondering if, what do I have? Okay, I do have spare luxuries I can sell. I will sell them. I'll sell my horses. Sell this as well. I need to kill more of these city-states, unfortunately, uh, because I can't, I can't trade with them. It's confusing. Okay, you got a builder. Improve, improve. Great job. Get that harbor now. We need that cash flow. Blasting the city acquire. I don't know if I want to attack. I want this guy to come out rather, so we'll play it safe. A lot going on in this game, which, which I appreciate. I appreciate it when there's a lot going on in a game of Civ. It would be nice if I could steal this boat. Nope, unlucky. You go there. You head there. I could buy another settler. I don't think that's going to be part of my goals right now. Um, I'm saving up money to be able to buy pirate ships while they're half price, um, because that would give me a lot better control over the game. I will improve the gold, and that'll boost apprenticeship, which is excellent. I'm going to chop here to get another builder out. What can I build? Can I build anything in those? Or is that like, is that chopping? Let me see, what's the builder lens tell me? The so feature extraction, nothing. Currently worked slash wonder buffed. Hills, feature extraction, general, okay. I've got the Outlaw Cove as an option here in Porto. I'm gonna place the campus. I think I will take the Outlaw Cove now. You're gonna pop back to heal. The city acquire got walls, which is fine. Not a big deal. Boom, we blast it. You retreat for a heal, you're hanging out there. Um, in terms of research, we are gonna finish apprenticeship now for the plus one production on mines, as well as access to the industrial zone, because we do wanna build the industrial zone here in Visu. But we are gonna go ahead and get ourselves a second builder, because we do have tiles we wanna improve. Um, the city of Lisbon is gonna yoink that tile so we can build a fishing boat there, fishery rather. We'll settle this settler, boom, in Baya. Immediately plonk down a harbor, but instead work on a builder. Builder, 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 builder. Always be building builders. A, B, 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 okay? Always be building builders. Trade route to Lisbon will accelerate the city. Your healing, we definitely need to convert Avora, but we'll, we'll get to that. Definitely want a campus in here at some point. Apprenticeship has been completed, which is excellent. So I'm gonna quickly pop into Visu, buy this tile, place the dam, place the industrial zone, finish the builder. Make sure the city's focused on food and production. It's working these really nice tiles. Um, might be good to go for the Leaning Tower of Pizza. We would get the Now, which is our unique unit. Has two charges to build Victorias, which would be nice international trading. The Kinkajou. I'm annoyed by this screen being broken. This annoys me. Um, I'm gonna unlock education because I didn't want the navigation school. Major victory. Uh, you're standing on the fire move. So I can only harvest that, that's fine. Lumber mill there wouldn't be the end of the world. Fall back to heal, shoot the city. Could definitely do with the shipyard soon. And I think education into military tactics, into mass production is the way to go, because that'll be another 15 combat strength on the Dragon's Dread. I think I'm gonna go into my UI options and see if I can uninstall the better, the better Envoy screen, because maybe that might be what's causing the issue. Um, but we will see. Go ahead and 
Blast the City Acquire. Excellent. Another promotion on this thing. That's another trade route. Let me quickly see if I can um, fix this. Oh, okay. It was a, a mod conflict. Okay, I will update the mod pack that I'm using. This sort of mod collection mode. It's not a pack. And yeah, huge. Oh, plus one food and capital in every granary. Plus two food in every sewer and consulate. Plus, oh, oh, there's a 10 on. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, definitely don't want the better city-state UI in here. All right, well, this changes things a little bit. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get the grips with these new with these new changes. I'm gonna call, well, they're not new changes, but they're I'm newly aware of them. I'm gonna get the grips with them. I love you all very much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.